a good, clean championship fight. Just obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. We expect a good one. Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward ringside with you. Jamel Herring and Shakur Stevenson. They overlap with colleagues, with trainers in the recent past. Andre Ward, we have talked about it all week, of asking Jamel Herring, what's the game plan? What's the strategy? And how early do you get to it? What do you expect from him? Jamel Herring's got to show that he can deal with the speed of Shakur and that he can start to get his own jab established and slowly start to push Shakur Stevenson back. I don't like what I'm seeing right now from Jamel Herring. He's sitting back right now trying to box with Stevenson when he should be trying to move forward and get into the chest. Right now, Stevenson is fainting and getting the reaction that he wants from Harry. That is to his advantage with the superior hand speed, overall skill, foot speed. He's the better boxer. Right now, Jamel Herring is confident. He does have a good game plan. And Shakur Stevenson has to make Jamel Herring believe he can't win. And he does that by hitting Jamel early and often and not allowing Jamel Herring to get anything back. There's a body shot right hand from Shakur and then goes with the southpaw jab. I see something very appealing from Shakur Stevenson. You see the grease on his body? Yes. <laughs> He's expecting body shots coming from Jamel Herring. Of course, at the discretion of the referee, pre-fight, Mark Nelson looked him over as to whether or not it's acceptable. It, it shouldn't be. But you can see it. And shimmer and shine off of the bright lights here at State Farm Arena. There Left hand is. comes in from Shakur. Laser focus tried to sweep the right hand across the belt line as well. This is how Shakur Stevens is going to slowly take over this fight is by power boxing. It's not moving around. He can avoid punches, but he has to make Jamel Herring pay when he misses punches. And again, he has to make Jamel believe that he can't win this fight. And Jamel has to start to pick up the pace because even though this is only the first round, Jamel can, I mean, excuse me, Shakur can do this all night long. All night. Jamel has to start to implement the game plan that he's been talking about all week, which is being the bully. If it stays like this, it's on Shakur's terms, Timmy. All night long, Shakur Stevenson is systematically already breaking down and found his rhythm and found his mark quickly in this first round. And you know that Shakur is getting to Jamel right now because he's got Jamel hesitant to throw. Jamel came out going punch for punch. Now he's got Jamel thinking, trying to figure out what to do next. That's the right hand, that left hand I'm talking about. Jamel doesn't see things coming from that side, and he's walking that way at the moment, getting hit with straight left hands from Shakur Stevenson. You heard Jamel Herring's trainer, Brian McIntyre, known to everybody in the business Back simply up. as Bo Mac. The famed trainer of the pound-for-pound -pound elite, Terrence Bud Crawford, simply tell Jamel Herring, Dre, you got to commit, you got to commit, push him back. And that's bad news for Team Herring when you get that kind of coaching in the after the first round. You would think that maybe that would happen after the midway point in this fight. So it's not looking good for Jamel Herring right now. He can still try to get himself in the fight, but Bo Mack is right. He's got to try to commit and sell out. You heard of the term speed kills? Of course. <laughs> That's what's going on right now. The speed of Shakur Stevenson is too much for Jamel Herring at this moment. He has as much speed as anybody in boxing. There's no doubt about it. We're seeing a little more boxer puncher and offense out of him, but defensive prowess. This is somebody who has wide margins in outlanding opponents throughout his career at a 3.6 to 1 ratio. And there's goodness. the left hand at the end of the combination. Touches the jab to the body as well. Who's the bigger man? Who's the bigger man? Is it Jamel Herring or is it Corey Stevenson? Because he's walking down Jamel Herring already, and it's the second round. Well, that's the mistake we make sometimes. We think the taller guy is the stronger guy. The taller guy is the bigger guy. It's not necessarily true. Shakur looks a lot stronger than Jamel Herring to me right now, and a lot thicker. Left hand landing. 
Good accuracy from Shakur, and then he places it to the body. Had a three-punch combination, couple left hands up top, and then places it to the body. It's a very strong start for the undefeated fighter. That jab right there from Jamel Herring was a half jab, trying to get back to defense all at the same time. It's not a good look, fellas. It's not. Just watch that left hand that come over the top right now from Shakur. Left hand comes in again. <laughs> and again. He said it would be his breakout performance. He took criticism for his last performance. People said you could have gotten rid of the guy. You could have pressed the gas pedal a little bit. You see that laser focus early on tonight. Tess, every fighter fights with respect. I understand the belts. Yes, they're, you know, they're a spectacle in the sport. They're nice to have. But we as fighters, we want to be respected by the people in the industry and the fans. That's what Shakur Stevenson is fighting for right now. And Shakur still got to be smart because Jamel is dangerous with that left hand and he's dangerous with a right hook. And Shakur Stevenson is doing the right thing by marching forward behind the right jab. <laughs> One, two, backs it up with a southpaw right hook as well. And then from range, back to the jab. Good work. Pinpoint accuracy from Shakur Stevenson with that left hand. Time. See the concern from the corner of Herring. See, and you got to work behind the jab. Right now, Herring's only landing 16% of his total punches thrown. We typically see low connect numbers for Shakur Stevenson opponents. Shakur Stevenson's landing 37% of his power punches. The left hand finding its mark. Ted, as soon as that, that, that stat creeps up to about 50, <laughs> we could see a stoppage. That's the power punch percentage. You saw the total punches in the last round there put up, but the power punch percentage right now is 37%. Jamel Herring has to ask himself, what is he willing to live with? Is he willing to live with being on the outside of those punches that are not going to stop coming and maybe at some point start looking for a way out or maybe get caught by a big shot? Or is he going to fight fire with fire and do what he told us he was going to do and try to back Shakur Stevenson up and try to rough him up and land a big shot? What is Jamel Herring willing to accept tonight? And right now we're seeing some inflammation under the left eye of Jamel Herring, and that's going to be something they're going to have to contend with in the corner. You see, this is the fight that I knew that Shakur Stevenson had in him. I know he can stand his ground. I know he can fight well in the inside, and he's showing us a different dimension of his skill set. He can do it all. Finding those levels, too. Look at that four-punch combination. Then goes down to the body with a jab. Then back upstairs with the left hand. Three-punch combination to the head. Shakur is in rhythm here in Atlanta. Look at this work. This looking like Gotti Floyd right now. Yes, it this is. This looking like Floyd May Mayweather or Joe Gotti right now, where you thought the bigger guy was going to going back the smaller guy up but the smaller guy has a lot more physical strength a lot more prowess and a lot more punching power than you thought Heron ain't gonna lay down though I'm letting you know that right now he's a marine he's gonna fight back and I see him he's trying his spots right now he's taking those steps Pretty forward I got it. Step that's what that's he needs what he to, has do. to do has to that's take what he steps has to forward do. to have any chance at all no other no chance to win standing on the outside of those shots he's got to he let his shots go Fires off the left hand behind it. Nobody said it would be easy, Jamal. But you got to go forward if you want to get it done. And the game plan for Team Herring is also to try to take Shakur Stevenson into the deep rounds because they feel like he's got conditioning issues. He's never been in a tough fight. So that's also the game plan. The fight is starting to break out now. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Herring's not backing up, and Shakur's still giving. Neither Shakur. Shakur's standing right. in his ground right now, backing up when he needs to, and then stepping inside. Right in the center of the ring. Right on that Crawford Porter signage for their big pay-per-view coming up on November 20th as Bud Crawford sits ringside. Time. 
Lomac is trying to encourage the champ, saying he's already hit you with everything he's got. Yeah, but see the ring IQ right here? Okay, you want to you wanna put the high guard up? Okay, I'm going to come straight down the middle. I'm going to come around the guard. I'm going to hit you everywhere, anywhere I can. And then he drops levels with a nice jab down to the body. Beautiful work by Shakur Stevenson. Joe Tim and Dre on the call here from Atlanta. Shakur Stevenson has a 59 to 21 connect advantage over the champion Jamel Herring as we begin round number four. Bomack also said to Jamel, it has to be more than one punch at a time. Bernardo. On the other side, Wally Moses, who's the grandfather and trainer of Shakur Stevens, said, I don't want him to allow Jamel to move to his right. I want him to keep him moving left and to continue digging to the body. We will look for that. Now you see Jamel trying to march forward. He's kind of gotten over that third, those three rounds of shock that he experienced. And now he's starting to try to implement the game plan that he talked about in the beginning, which is march forward behind the right jab and put pressure on Shakur Stevenson. And he's doing the right thing because he's moving to his left. He's cutting off that angle for Shakur Stevenson that he's used to. And he's making him and trying to force him right. Bomack, the trainer of Herring, the champion. Excuse me, my correction. Herring needs to push Shakur Stevenson to his left. Keep him from going right. Stop, don't punch. Be careful. Get your head up. Step back. Step back. And right jab is the best thing. Jamel Herring has going for him. That's the only shot he has to actually walk forward and actually get those power shots off that he wants to. If he tries to load up and lead, he's going to get countered. If he sits on the outside, he's going to get picked apart. He's got to get the right jab going to try to push Shakur Stevenson back. Here Just like the, that. Here comes the left hand. You knew it was coming, doubling up that right jab. Tough target to hit, though, is Shakur. Always has been. You're right, Dre, that jab is causing some problems to support Stevenson. Oh, nice shot right there. Lifted him with the right hand. And that got Jamel Herring's attention. As it should. Off angle didn't matter. Well scored by Stevenson. World title on the line. Stevenson off to a great start. Time. Round number five of our world title fight. Shakur Stevenson with a 73 to 30 advantage in total connects. In the locker room is Jamel Herring's wife, Jen. She has not come out to watch this ringside. Has her head turned right now. Obviously, her husband has quite the uphill battle to try to defend his title here tonight with the way Stevenson is off to this strong start. Great. No, 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 no. Come on. Let, let go. Let go. Come on. Don't grab, Jamel. Just box. Aaron's doing a good job behind that jab of his. Landing it on Shakur. That's been a difficult thing task for any fighter. Whoa. Shakur turned him around and now the headshots come in. Able to get around the guard of Herring. Great, don't punch. Keep your hands free, guys. Get out of there on your own. 
All right, break. I got Seeing it. Seeing Shakur looking more comfortable right now, staying in the pocket. Get your hands Blocking free. and picking off Great. some of the punch. shots from Shakur, from Jamel Herring yep. and also showing that he's also strong and he can manhandle Jamel Herring and then countering shots on Jamel just like that. That's discouraging for Jamel Herring because nothing is working at the moment. Hands free, guys. Oh, nice. That's what he has to do. Right here yes. inside. Has to be willing to just hit him and hit him anywhere and take some chances, especially when you can smother him. That's and he it. just did. Left hand came in Great against point. Stevenson. And he goes right back into the kitchen again the and lands Be to careful. the body, does Harry. Be careful, guys. His best stretch of the fight. Watch your heads. You can see swelling around the left eye. That straight left hand down on the inside. Shakur Stevenson needs to be careful. He needs to time that perfectly because he's leaning right in. The line of fire for the left hand of Jamel Harry. Hands free, guys. Get out of there. Break. I got it. It's a really good round for Jamel Harry. Time, time. That last round was Jamel Herring's best round, and still Shakur Stevenson had some brilliant moments, Dre. Yeah, he landed a lot of leather, just like we see right here. He fainted down and went up top with an overhand left, came back, missed the right, but then landed the left, and then walked down Jamel and landed another left as he pushes Jamel Herring back to the rope. Shakur had a 16 to 12 connect advantage in that last round. 13 of the 16 connects were power punches. Hands free, guys. Get out of there. No, hold break. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't grab it. The whole time in the fighter meeting yesterday, good jab right there from Jamel Herring. Team Herring said they want, they don't believe Shakur Ste Get Stevenson had free, the dog there in him. Go. They don't believe if he's pushed to a certain point that he's going to respond. We get to see if he responds right now. You have to push him to that point. You have to execute on that plan to get the answer. Well, we see Jamel slowly trying to do that. He hasn't fully executed, but you see him trying. Ooh, head, head Stop. clash. Clash of heads there. Watch your heads, you okay? <laughs> oh, mean two-piece right there. Timed Both it. of them landed. But the frustrating part, fellas, is not the two-piece. It's when you think you're going to get something back, and the distance and the range and the legs of Shakur Stevenson won't allow you to get back. That's discouraging, fellas. That's demoralizing. Break. Don't punch. Step back all the way. Jamel Herring has to free that one hand, his right hand, or his right arm, and just let both shots go. Ooh, he Shakur him with that may throw. Right. But he's got a scored well by Stevenson right there. He heard him with that shot. You, you saw Herring right? off balance for a moment, didn't you, Timmy? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And the reason why that shot hurt him is because he didn't see it coming. Quick right hook. Quick, don't punch. I got it. Step back clean. The right hook does damage in the middle of round six. Oh. Ooh. Same shot right there. If it's working, why go away from it? Look at the swelling around the left eye of the champion here. Great, I got you. You got to understand that that right hook is Shakur Stevenson's power shot. He's a right-handed fighter. He's right-handed, but he fights in the southpaw stance. What an advantage that is. Be able to generate that power as a natural righty, but a gifted and sublimely skilled southpaw in the ring. Big crowd has come out here in what has been an exciting night in Atlanta at State Farm Arena to see this world title fight 
And right now what they are seeing is an exceptional performance by Newark, New Jersey's Shakur Stevenson, who has a 102 to 49 connect advantage against the champion Jamel Herring. Yes, the champion, but keep in mind Stevenson, the accomplished Olympian who went on in his 13th fight to win a featherweight championship, said, I'm moving up to 130 pounds, 16 and 0, and tonight trying to stay the course to become a two division world champion. And he was the significant favorite. Late money came in at Herring, but Shakur Stevenson, a significant favorite. In the corner, Bo Mack, I asked him, how do you turn things around? He says he has to do what he did in that fifth round. That was his best round. He's got to rough him up, and that's the only chance he has. Okay. Step back, step that was his best work of the night, hey, Bernardo, that fifth commands, round. Guys, okay? Come on, keep it clean. There's so much skill going on in that ring from Shakur Stevenson, both fighters, of course, but Shakur Stevenson makes adjustments. Yes. You know, that's when you're a top fighter. Free. That's when you're one of the best guys in hands the division free, and in the sport of boxing. He took away the angle from Herring by throwing the right hook towards the area where he was going. Hands free, guys. That minor adjustment is what's winning Shakur Great, Stevenson this fight. Yes, yeah, speaking of winning the fight, let's look at Andre Ward's scorecard because it's a pretty easy one to score. The only round you could even consider you, Herring back. would be the fifth round. Fifth round. That's Absolutely. the only round where he had double-digit connects. He was 12 of 50 still, and Shakur still had seemingly better moments in that round, landing 13 power punches, so it's a clean sweep. Right. Shakur landed the best punch in that round, and he did a little bit more. Jamel came on, but he let Shakur close it just enough where I gave Shakur that fifth round. Jamel trying to get around he, Mark sorry, Nelson. Josh. He's trying to get around Mark Nelson and just get after it. Stop. I was going to say that this is where Herring said he wanted the fight. He either wanted Shakur backing up, or he wanted him inside right now uh, excuse me, Jamel Herring has Shakur where he wants him. He's got to try to take advantage, but Shakur is not playing along. Hands free. See, it's a mean three-piece right there. See, Shakur is a really good inside fighter. And this is what I've been trying to tell people. He's a really good inside fighter. If he wants to commit to it, he can do it. Landed that short right back on your hand pound pound that rolled. <laughs> That conversation is most likely going to be happening soon enough if he can continue on the path oh he's goodness. been on in his career. Oh. Keep him up, guys. Quick, come on. Keep the punches up. Keep, Stevenson's keep got to stay guys. focused. He can't look at the ref because when he did, Jamel Herring did just what he was supposed to do. He landed a straight left hand. Beautiful short hey, uppercut the right there by Aaron on the inside, but here, I... this punch right here, right down to the groin area by Harry. You can see the response from Shakur Stevenson complaining to your point, complaining to the referee, letting him know that he was hit low. Good crowd that's been here for hours and hours and joining a loaded undercard that saw Xander Zayas, one of the best here. prospects in all boxing, remain undefeated. Yeah. Saw Muhammad Ali's grandson, Nico Ali Walsh. You can always go to the ESPN app, ESPN.com, to see all the highlights. Watch back the entire fight card. Evander Holyfield's son, by the way, came up a winner earlier tonight here in Atlanta. Round number eight. Team, team Herring has to continue to try to convince him that he can win this fight. Even though he's down on the card, son, you got to keep pressing forward. Remember the game plan. We said he was going to fade late. We'll never know if that's true if you don't let your hands go and start to hit him any and everywhere. Now, these are the no regret moments. Because the alternative is sitting on the end of his punches and getting hit with shots like that. Step back. Herring's got to free that hand Step and let back. both hands go. He's only hitting Shakur to the body with the left hand. Free the right hand up and let both shots go. And he needs to shorten his shots, too. 
You know, he's throwing over the head of Shakur Stevenson. Wow, nice combination Keep right up, there. Not everything landed. Overshooting. What did Shamar Stevenson do? The smartest thing? He go. stepped inside and smothered the backhand of Herring. So the left hand was ineffective there. One time he was able to get to the body. Good there. sequence with both hands right Work there from Herring. Yep. You gotta keep that up. Break. Don't punch. I got it. Bad herring is marching forward with no jab. Good herring is j the, j the Jamel herring that's coming forward with the right jab, coming behind that with the straight lefts and the body shots with both hands. He's got to stay disciplined with that right jab. I like the body shots inside from herring. Got to hit something. There's a short right to the body. Good short overhand left. Get your hands free. Step back out of there, guys. All right, break. I got it then. Stevenson won a featherweight title in just his 13th pro fight. Now fight number 17. He's looking to become a two-division world champion. Get your hands free. Step out of there. Break. I got it. Stop. Stop. Ten seconds. Obey the bell. You know, Jamel Herring didn't really fall prey to all the jawing, all the chirping going on throughout the week here in Atlanta. It was Brian McIntyre, his trainer, Bo Mack, who has worked with Shakur Stevenson in the past, who was willing to talk, willing to trade barbs. And now he's got to get into his fighter. Bo Mack put forth the message, keep that rhythm, you've got to be first. And then right at the end, Dre, he said to him, you see him slowing down. Do you buy that? Do you see any slowdown to Shakur Stevenson? No, I don't see any slowdown. I mean, I think Jamel eked out that last round and maybe Shakur slowed down a bit, but I don't think it's the way Bo Mack is saying, saying it is. But Bo Mack is doing his job. He's earning his money tonight. He has to encourage his fighter and try to make this man believe that he can still win this fight. Jamel Herring has been executing Bo Mack's game plan these last few rounds, getting inside, dirtying it up, but Shakur Stevenson is tougher, rougher, and better inside than anyone thought. That's the way Jamel Herring needs to answer a two, three punch combination from Shakur. He needs to answer with his own two or three punch combination. Shots like that. Break. Don't punch. I got it. See, Stevenson has came in here in this fight with a made-up mind. He just hurt. He just wow. hurt Heron with that. He hurt Heron with an uppercut. Two more headshots came in as well. Timmy, a few Break. years ago, you and I were in New York, and we were broadcasting a Shakur Stevenson fight. And I remember turning to you and saying, I think I'm starting to see the man strength yes. come out in Shakur Stevenson. Break. Tonight, it, it has fully right. arrived. This is a strong sturdy, thicker version of Shakur Stevenson and it's at 130 pounds. And he's fighting a bigger, the biggest guy that he's ever faced in his entire career. He's fighting a true 130 pounder in Jamel Herring. Could very well be at 135 pounds. He was. Yeah, exactly. Not just the best, I mean the biggest, but the best. Yes. The most accomplished as a professional. Gives up three inches to him, a guy who was at a higher weight class to begin with. Step back. Don't punch, I got it. Step back. Stevenson has let off the gas pedal a bit. 
and he's finding his opportunities to rest. See him come inside. Yep. He Put wants the opportunities there, to rest in there. I'll and Jamel Herring allowing Stop him back. to do that. I don't think he took his foot off the gas pedal. I mean, he's done a lot of good work for three quarters of this round. And he's just trying to see what Jamel Herring is going to do. Bring Jamel Herring Stop. to you and see if he can respond and if you can, clean, you know, clean land stuff, a good shot if he overcommits. Make a strategy over anything else. I think it's both. Get your hands free. Mm, he didn't want a Stop. low blow right there. I'll get you. Referee's doing a good job tonight, fellas. He's standing out of the way. That's what I like. I like refs that stay out of the way. That's Mark Nelson, a veteran. We've seen him many times through the years. Of course, Stevenson was able to do damage in that ninth round. There is a cut now over the right eye of Jamel Herring. Let's look at this combination He's right here. From a punch. Go to your corner. Up to the head and also down to the body, changing levels. But that right there, when you see a guy with a high guard, you can come around it or come up the middle. As you can see, Shakur Stevenson comes around the guard of Herring. Catching them and cut. I think opening open up that, that right eye, I believe. Uh, on that punch, in fact, Timmy. Another round where Shakur Stevenson lands double digit power punches. He was 12 of 32 on power punches in that last round. Round number 10. Stop. Stop. For the Tommy, WBO 130 pound title. I'm going to have a look at the cut. Maybe. Ringside position is going to look at this cut on the right eye that just opened up in the last round. It's good. I just don't know where it is. I want you to just look at it. Dr. Jeff Traub has the duties with the Georgia Commission. We're good? Okay. Neutral corner. Time in. Not sure if that little rest is going to benefit Jamel Harry or Shakur Stevenson the most. All I know is Shakur Stevenson see that blood, and I bet you he's going to attack that eye of Jamel Herring. Look at that. It's hard to see, especially when you got blood dripping down the eye. It's in the spot. It's above the eye, so it is definitely blurring his vision a bit, repairing his vision. Now the cut is worsening, and another left hand comes in. And look at these headshots from Shakur. Shakur isn't wasting any energy. He's very efficient. And he's landing clean shots at will right now. Efficient and sharp. So accurate. And doing damage. He's got a little bit of an anger to him, too. That's what blood does. That is it. This is a TKO victory for Shakur Stevenson, and he is a two-division world champion. An absolute A-plus performance from Shakur. What a night for Shakur. See Shakur closing in on Jamel Herring. The blood excited him. He sees weakness in his opponent, and Jamel Herring isn't responding. So Shakur did what he was supposed to do. Pour it on. That's what you're trained to do. And this is what everybody asked for in his last fight. So he gave the fans and the media and everybody who had something to say and something to write what they wanted. Are you not entertained tonight by the young fighter Shakur Stevenson? Said it would be the best performance of his career. It was. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside State Farm Arena, referee Mark Nelson calls a stop to this bout at 1 minute 30 seconds of round number 10. For your winner by technical knockout and new WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Shaku. Seventeen and zero, the best he's been. 
99 power punches landed, a 164 to 87 edge. Dre, your final thoughts. Great performance. Was Jamel Herring the man to bring out the best in you? Did he? Most definitely, I feel like Jamel Herring is a great fighter. Um, he's tough, he's real tough. He got great boxing skill, he got great power. Um, I was just the better man tonight. What was said after the fight? Because there was a lot said before, and I know that it's gamemanship, and I know that there's no friends, but what was said after the fight? I mean, it was no friends because we was fighting. But now that we're not fighting, I love Jamel Hammer. Uh, he's definitely my friend. Uh, I don't got no problem with Jamel. Hey, to his wife, I'm sorry. I don't want no trouble with you. She's tough. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't mess around, but neither did you tonight. What was it about your performance that made you happiest? Uh, I want to thank Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley was uh, criticizing me, calling me boring. Um, so I wanted a fun fight. I wanted to perform, show my skills, show my boxing skill, my defense, my power. Um, I showed everything tonight. You did. What was most impressive is you were standing in front of Jamel Herring, and much like you have been able to do throughout your career, you were unhittable for parts of the fight. When did you know you had this fight won? Uh, around like the fifth round. Fifth round. Um, I had landed everything, um, I was winning clearly, and then he started trying to come on. And when he started trying to come on, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a break, and then step it back up later. Jamel, his left eye started to swell early, but then that cut happened. What did you think when you saw that blood streaming from his face? I smelled blood. I saw uh, he was bleeding, I'm like, okay, I gotta attack the cut. So every punch I was looking for, I was trying to touch the cut, touch the cut, uh, just to make the doctor stop it. The first title you ever won was a vacant belt. This one you had to take from another fighter. How did that feel? It felt amazing. I want to be a superstar in the sport. I'm here to last. Uh, I take my craft very serious. I'm disciplined. Uh, I did a strong camp. I want to thank my team, uh, Coach Wally Moses, Jack, Dirt, K. Um, I had a strong team. They got me prepared for this, and we was in the gym grinding. Everyone talks about- I love my family and friends, too. I appreciate y'all. Everyone talks about the young princes, kings, whatever you want to call them at 135, who don't step into the ring against one another. But here at 130, there's champions who want to fight. Who do you want to fight? I mean, there's only one fight left at the end of the day. It's the biggest fight in the division. Um, Oscar can't keep ducking. It's time for him to fight. It's me versus Oscar Valdez. There's nothing else to uh, look forward to. The 130-pound division, we need to unify. Let's get it. That's exactly what boxing needs. Shakur, one last message to your fans who came out in force here in Atlanta. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. Oh yeah, shout out to Jay Prince, Antonio Leonard, um, Andre Ward, Josh Dubin, everybody. Uh, I appreciate everybody that helped me out. Thank you very much, Shakur, congratulations. Enjoy your victory tonight. And one last hug from Jamel Herring. Jamel, we've seen this story before. A fighter who just steps in against a young man with a dream and with talent. What was it like to be in there with Shakur Stevenson tonight? Um, first of all, I just want to thank God for, for allowing me to still compete at a, um, at, the, at a high level, such as his magnitude in a great fight. Um, congrats to Shakur Stevenson. Um, also, like I said, I just want to apologize to everybody back in, um, you know, going to high school. I, I tried to put, I tried for y'all. Shout out to um, my man, Coach Levin, Triple Threat in Colorado Springs. Everybody in Omaha, Nebraska, United States Marine Corps. My apologies, I, I try, I try. Nothing to apologize. You are all class as always. But describe to me what it's like to have Shakur in the ring because the statistics don't lie and he's been virtually unhittable his entire career. Um, you know, he's just sharp. He's sharp. He's sharp and slick. Um, you know, his guy coordination is, 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 is very good. I, you know, I'm not taking the room. No, no excuses. He was just the, the better man tonight. I, you know, I started slow, but after a while, you know, I see that, I, I, like I told like I said yesterday, I, I can't do the chess match with him, so, I had to, you know, bite down and show that grit and just and push forward. Bo, that was part of your game plan, was to take the fight to him. He was able to do it in spots, but what was it about Shakur that uh, he just was able to overcome? And younger, faster, uh, he was sharp. Shakur, she was, he was sharp tonight. And I, I take my hat off to Kay, Papa, Shakur, uh, Dirk, the whole uh, uh, team over there. You talked about him hopefully slowing down, but yet he didn't. What about him standing in, in the ring and holding his ground tonight? Hey, I didn't expect that. I thought he was going to move like his last fight and his other, other couple fights. But, hey, they had a good game plan. He executed and he got the win. And now, Jamel, 
We've seen you deal with cuts before. What's next for you? Um, you know, I, I think I'm all family, man. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, of course, my man, Bo Mack, wants me just to, you know, wipe myself off and go back to the gym. There's, there's no quitting me. Um, you know, I've been labeled everything. I've been labeled everything. But I, want, I wanted to show that, you know, I, no matter what, I push through anything. No matter what adversity, I, I'll push through anything. But at the same time, I do got to think about my, um, my family, especially my mom, my, 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 my two daughters with um, autism. Um, I got to start looking out for more of them. Of course, you know, I'll put myself through hell and back, but at the end of the day, I got to start thinking about the people that really care about me and love me. And like I said, um, no one has put me to get this far, and I'm, I'm just grateful, but I just got to wait and see. You know, I, mean, I got to wait, wait and see what, what, what happens next. Well, you got a bright career as a, as a broadcaster as well, something that you've dabbled in. But when... What's that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when it comes to it, what future do you see for Shakur Stevenson here at 130? I got to tell him, just take over. Just go take over and keep continuing being great. No hard feelings. Like I said, we made up. We're now friends. <laughs> I, will, I, will call, I will call him all, I think. But, um, nah, like Shakur, Shakur's going to do great things. I had nothing against him. I know people, I know everybody had, a, you know, a bad picture of him, but he's not a bad dude. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a good kid. And that's why I never took, I never took it personal, but... Um, I, I just hope that you know Shakur can go continue doing what he want to do and get the bigger fights, and you know I'll, I'll enjoy being a fan, watching from watching from behind the scenes. Thank you very much for everything. Always a Marine, Jamel Herring. Joe, we send it to you. Thank you very much. So.